Now let's go on to two digit times two digit problems. And estimate first. This one, I would round this to 70, rounding up. This one, you could round it down to 10, for example. We will get 700. Now, do you remember how this were done? We first multiply 4 times 68 normally. Then we multiply 10 times 68 and write it under here, and lastly add. So I have 4 times 8, 32. 4 times 6 is 24, plus 3 is 27. So I did that multiplication, ignoring this one here, just 4 times 68. And now I will ignore this 4 here, and multiply 10 times 68. Now 10 times 68 will end in a 0 because it is 10 times, okay? Therefore, I will start by putting the zero there. And after that, I can simply multiply one times 68, okay? So I go one times eight, eight, one times six, six. And lastly, add. 952. That's far from our estimate, and I was kind of expecting that to be because I rounded this down a lot. Okay, so that's how it went that time. One more. Let's estimate first. Let's round this to 40. And this one to 300. So we will get 12,000. Now, write the longer number on top. Like that. And we do the same thing. I will first multiply 8 times 325, ignoring this 3. And then I will ignore the 8, as if it was not there, and multiply 30 times 325. So first, as if this was not here, 8 times 5, 40. 8 times 2 is 16, plus 4 is 20. And then 8 times 3 is 24, plus 2, 26. Next, something important. I need to stress this again. You're going to multiply 30 times that number. That means the answer will end in a 0. Because when you multiply something by 30, by any whole 10, it will end in a 0. So I'm going to start out by putting a 0 here. And then the rest of the multiplication goes here, the answers go here. And now I can just multiply three times that number, starting to write from here on. Okay. Three times five, 15. Let me cross those old numbers out. Three times two is six, plus one is seven. And then three times three is nine. And now add. Twelve thousand three hundred fifty. 